what is up guys welcome back to another scooter video so today we're on the backyard half pipe and if you guys saw my video from mike's bike park you guys saw me picking snow off this thing but we actually have a warm day it is like 50 degrees in the middle of winter right now i'm so pumped but yesterday I got to ride and I was trying to line over and over again and I got defeated. So the plan for this line was I was going to go up and do a 540 flare, come around and get a grind right here. And I'm going up a dry flip to a bar spin in. And I want to get an invert right here and then come around, do a whip, or actually that was a heel bar spin and then feeble. And then I really wanted to get this buttercup drop in. This was like the main goal of the line, but I failed on it multiple, multiple times. And all around it was just... It was just rough. So today we're back in the backyard half pipe and I'm going to try this line again for, I think this will be now the fifth time I've actually done this line back to back to back to back. And I kept falling on the buttercup drop in. It was killing me yesterday. So today I'm going to do a completely different video from what I normally do for you guys. So normally I either put a GoPro on my head or I like kind of vlog style it while I'm riding. But today I'm going to try something completely different because I only have like an hour to ride. I'm going to set you guys right over here, you guys are gonna get to see a full view of the half pipe, and I'm gonna actually voice over. So after I get done recording this, I'm going to come back over and talk about what I'm doing while I'm warming up, kind of give you guys a behind the scene look at what I do when I ride. So you guys are gonna get to see all the way from me warming up to doing the line for Instagram that I'm planning to do and just having a good day overall. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land this line because yesterday I got absolutely cooked and I'm still a little bit sore from that, but we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best. And I always say on my channel, do not quit and don't give up. I hate giving up. So I'm gonna try my best to get this line done. And without further ado, let's get to this voiceover. So I'm gonna put you guys over here and we're gonna like full on just show you guys me warming up. So we're gonna put you right here and then time to ride. All right, cool. So now we're gonna start this voiceover right here. So we're gonna hop up, get the scooter and I'm gonna put my headphones in just so I can ride with some music. It's always nice to ride with music while I'm riding by myself, but it's gonna get these legs warmed up. So I'm gonna hop in and just kind of pump around the half pipe, just do some normal flowing and just getting those legs juiced up a little bit before we jump right into today's line. So uh, while I'm looping around, why don't you guys go down in the comments and uh, drop some tricks that you guys like to try while you guys are warming up. You guys got some like specific warm tricks that you guys like to send. But uh, now we're gonna finish off with the flare here. All right, so feeling pretty good. You gotta change the song a little bit, make sure I'm still ready, good to go, get that juice flowing. I'm getting another line, so we're just getting warmed up right now. So for me personally, I like to warm up, and uh, while I'm warming up, so right here, I'm actually practicing a little bit of the uh, of the line just in little chunks. I like to work in little chunks before I go full on for the line. It kind of helps me get my mind and my body ready for actually sending like a line that's going to be in the 30 seconds to maybe even 45 seconds around how long it actually is. But uh, feeling good so far, just looking pretty solid. And uh, there was my buttercup right there. We're gonna just warm it up and make sure that. You know, we got the arms going because last time the buttercup was killing me. Wasn't able to do that. And, uh, oh, man, messed up on that on that nose, man. And we're going to have to go back for that. Me, personally, when I mess up on a trick, I always have to, like, go back and land the trick before I can continue. So, perfect example of that where I just had to go back and get that nose manual before actually continuing the line before I can keep going. So, we're just going to keep getting warmed up right here. Nice little whip front scoot. And I was totally going for a tuck my hand on that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Mess that up a little bit but now we're just gonna get up to the top right here and practice uh dropping in up here and getting that right now i'm gonna do a bri flip in just to make sure i got the arms going and uh gotta finish the line of course you know we always gotta send that send that flare in there but uh yeah so i'm just trying to hype myself up right now trying to get my mindset in the right place to actually send the line you always want to be thinking positive when you're about to send something cool or something big but uh, oh man about about rolled off the side of the ramp right there let's get back in here Oh, uh, there's the heel whip bar spin. Had to make sure I get that dialed. It's always a fear of mine to get mid trick and or mid line and uh, mess up the the one trick or like a small trick in the line. It's never fun. Got a little leg sweep there. That's a fun trick. All right, we're gonna go back for this buttercup now. We're gonna see if we get it. And sure enough, we do. But it was an ugly one. We fell off the ramp. That was uh, by no means great. So we're gonna have to get redemption on that. <laughs> and by that, I mean. Not redemption. I mean, a fail. So, so far today's going a little rough. We, uh, where the lines are going good, but the, uh, buttercup is for some reason not working well. So I gotta make sure I dial it back in on the quarter pipe. So that's what I just did right there. And, uh, it's never fun to, like, have a, have a line, like, in your mind and get to the last trick and mess up the last trick. So we're making sure that buttercup's nice and dialed right here before we actually go for it. And let's see if we can get it. We do, but it is ugly and 
by no means clean. So I'm going to take a little water break here, make sure I'm uh, not killing myself too much before actually sending the, the full online. But uh, yeah, right now we're just testing a couple of the little in-between tricks, and we're going to go back up for it. I believe we're going to send a bri flip right here. Yeah, we do. And uh, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to come back for this buttercup. I'm going to make sure that we land it before we actually send the line because uh, we have to. I mean, it's definitely a hard thing to go straight into a line, never landing the trick of the day, and, uh, and goof it up. That's never fun. So as you guys can tell, I love the flares. I always love to finish my lines with the flare. Just It flows, and it works well, and it kind of coops me out of the ramp perfectly. But grab some water, get some buttercup practice right here, and let's see. Still struggling with it. <laughs> not going to lie, this buttercup today has been um definitely a fight it's not it's not been coming around too great but uh we're gonna get it and it's gonna happen i hate uh hate giving up and uh i'm dedicated to getting this buttercup so it's gonna it's gonna make sure it's gonna happen so uh what i'm gonna do right here is i'm gonna actually go through the line do the basic trick so instead of like the 5 4 flare i'm gonna go for the flare do a couple grinds and uh just kind of substitute the big tricks for smaller tricks that are like a little bit easier just so i don't cook myself uh, i've already been riding for about i say like 20 30 minutes just sped up a little bit on here so you guys can see and now we're gonna go back and actually try the buttercup before we go on for the full online gotta make sure we get this thing actually landed at least once successfully <laughs> and yet again we did not right now my confidence is getting a little shook on this trick and i'm like man i don't really know if i want to send this entire line and just to goof up the buttercup so we're gonna like take some time pace around and let the body rest for a second but you know sometimes when i actually go for the full online it gives me the motivation to actually land the trick sometimes it's just that weird little boost of confidence or extra like adrenaline when you're midline you uh you just can stick it somehow a few minutes later but uh we're gonna go back for that buttercup right now and we got it now i'm feeling good and it's finally time to send this this actual line and here we go we're off to the races no not yet i'm sorry but it's like we're doing just a flare here <laughs> now we're good i always like to warm up before doing a 540 flare with a flare because just because you know it's never 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 bad just to warm your body up and actually this whole this whole video is more mainly about me warming up i don't ever really show you guys the warm-up process before getting instagram line so i thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys the behind the scenes here right here i'm stretching and uh it's always great to stretch you know you don't want to <laughs> throw your legs out or do something like get a nice little injury um as you guys can tell i'm a little beating around the bush right here with the 540 flare just because i'm not I mean, I'm pretty good at them, but at the same time, I'm not because I clearly am, have been like avoiding doing the trick all day. So right now, I'm just running over the path of my head, saying the tricks out: five forty flare, grind, bry, and then drop back in, uh, invert, heel bar, feeble, and then of course that lovely buttercup drop at the end. Now we're just gonna send it. Starting off strong, got the five forty flare, we got the grind now. That's the bry flips coming around. The bar spins looking good inverts looking nice and we got the heel bar i was stressing that because I was, I was gonna be sad if i messed that trick up out of every one of them and sure enough we landed i'm stoked we got it first try actually linking everything together that was pretty dang good and now we'll just go ahead and tune back into the actual audio so you guys can hear what i'm saying that felt good Whew. a little wind not gonna lie i uh still a little sore from yesterday so this was definitely a challenge for me but I encourage you guys to find a challenge much like this and see if you guys can do this for yourself. The struggle was real on that one. Oh my gosh. I mean, technically today I got a first try. Minus, you know, the practice runs of me actually attempting it. But once I actually initiated the, the line, I ended up getting a first try, which I'm stoked on. But that's not how it usually goes. Sometimes I take up to, you know, 10 tries to do these lines. So, like, if I combine this with the yesterday, I've been trying this line now for, like, almost two hours. So, I'm stoked I got it. I just wanted to make this video so you guys can see a little bit of the behind the scenes while I make an Instagram clip. Not always do I land things first try. I might make them seem like I land them first try on Instagram or I'm, like, only post the good stuff. But I thought I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes look at me not not doing the good stuff i'm actually falling just like you guys i mean you guys are learning too i'm learning too just like every session i have i'm always learning a new trick buttercup drop haven't done that since i was probably like 17 or 18 i uh used to do them all the time and i just kind of stopped doing them so i kind of lost the motion so i thought yesterday you know what would be a fun trick to relearn buttercup drops and then of course 
I linked in with a line yesterday. I wasn't able to stomp it, so I had to come back today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun to make this video, and I'm really stoked I got this trick, or this, I guess I should say line. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this voiceover. Not for sure how I'm gonna like it. Editing might be a little bit more different than my normal videos, so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think about it. If I should do more videos like that, where I just set my camera up on a tripod like I did over here, showed the half pipe, and uh, just kind of talked about what I'm thinking while I'm doing the tricks. But overall, it was a good time, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video, and if you guys want to see me do more, on YouTube, make sure to share these videos with people that you think would like them. So like some other scooter riders, make sure they see them and uh, be like, yo, yo, bro, let's uh, let's check out Chase's channel today. He got some cool content on here. And if you guys need to see any tips or tutorials on some tricks that you guys are learning, I have an entire playlist of like 20 to 30 videos where I'm teaching you guys all the fundamental tricks that you guys can learn. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one later.